In the last lecture you learned how to maximize your SEO campaigns and in this lecture we're covering the final point, the 26th point in our SEO checklist and that is really how to create content that generates links and auto share and share social shares on autopilot. So I've got five smarter ways for you to generate links and social shares and I'm going to run through in this lecture each of them, give you an example uh, so you really have an idea about how can you create content that's really going to win? Because there are certain formats of content and ways of figuring out what's working so you can really model what's been successful. And that's the first point here. You want to try and model content that's already been successful, that's already proven to generate links and social shares. And that is the reason why I picked that SEO checklist for my topic. I can see that there's already been a lot of links for that. and. Uh, it's, it's a format that has already proven to work. Now, another way you can find out what's already worked and model it is to use this tool called BuzzSumo. You can use it to find proven content ideas and format. So if we come into this, it says exactly what it does here. You can analyze what content performs best for any topic or competitor. So you can put in even a competitor's brand name here and you find out there uh, best performing content and this is a free tool um, you can use it for free but there is an upgraded version that obviously gives you more information the same way that a lot of the tools we've looked at work what I'm going to do is just put in drones here this is a topic not particularly what I'm going after but just as an example we can maybe all understand so what I'm going to do here is type in drones here and search for this and now what pops up is I can see a list of articles that have been published online in the past year, so that's filtered for the past year, and I can see the number of shares that it's got across the social networks as well. You can also view some of the backlinks here as well. Let's open this up. Oh, I have to, that's, I need the pro version to find that. But even if you just look at the social shares, you can really see what content has been popular. Now what you could do is, okay, you're not going to be able to maybe write this exactly. Maybe uh, what you can do is really have a look at the top articles, see what they've got in common. And I think one thing that comes to mind for me straight away when I see an article like this is what you could do is maybe write an article like the top 10 uses of drones. And uh, one could be to protect, you know, it could be a list. Number one, protect the sea turtles. Number two, I've heard people using drones to somehow, you know, protect elephants and poachers and stuff like that. So that is something you could potentially do. Use this as a place for inspiration. You may not be able to just copy and paste something and use it on your site. But if this has got 87,000 shares, seems to be a lot of people are interested in finding out how drones are being used to protect nature or even how drones are being used in general and that's something that you can do. So that's just a small example but that's essentially how the tool works. You can come here to find out the most popular content around a keyword, around a competitor and there's all sorts of filters that you can use here. You can look at infographics, guest posts, giveaways, all sorts of different types of content as well. So this is a great place to start if you want to model successful content, come into a tool like this and see what is already getting results. Because if something is already getting results, if you do something close to it or similar or model on it, then you have a much better chance of getting results yourself. Now I was just talking about those like a best of list and that is the second way that you can generate a lot of links and social shares on autopilot. So I have an example here that I'm going to uh, open up and I'm going to change the link on that later um, but essentially you can see that this is just a best of list for the top 10 infographics for internet marketing pros so it's a list of the top 10 here now the smart thing about these best of lists is they're very easy to put together you don't actually have to create a lot of content you just have to find content that's already been successful and put it together in a list and the beautiful thing about a piece of content like this is 
every single one of these 10 websites is going to want to share this post and link back to it, share it with their audience because they've made it into the top 10. And so this is an extremely powerful way to include other people in your content, to get them to share content on your behalf because it's in their interest, it makes them look good. And if we look at our Moz bar here for this particular page, I can see that it has generated 114 links, uh, which is a lot of links. That's probably bringing a lot of traffic and authority to this particular website. It probably did not take them very long to come up with this. They just had to find the best ones, put them together in a list and share it out. So that is the second idea to generate links and shares and auto apply it. Because you're putting together people into a list, it's in their interest to share it out to their audience because it makes them look good. And that uh, brings a lot of attention to you. Now the third way to generate links and shares on autopilot is to crowdsource content. So this is kind of similar to the best of list. It takes a little bit more work. You might have to tweet out to experts or email them and ask them for a contribution. So here's an example of that. I looked at this earlier in the course, seven experts on why building your email list is so important. And uh, you've got the experts here with their, with their inputs. Now the great thing about this as well is that similar to the best of list, they're likely to share this out with their audience because it makes them look like an expert. It puts them in the company of all these other people. And uh, that's just another way. It's a format that really is conducive to getting links and shares in autopilot because you're really making other people look better. And when you make other people look better, they want to share it out. Now the fourth way to generate links and social shares on autopilot is to publish survey results. And I've got an example of this here. You could easily uh, create a survey. You could even use the survey results from uh, the type form online survey that you made earlier in the course. You could just gather those survey results of them and publish them. And here's an example of that. So he, uh, this guy, it's an SEO blog, um, but essentially what he did is he surveyed his audience and uh, then he put together a post about it here. So once again, people are very likely to link to this. You can see this has 1,177 links because it's showing them information about themselves and they participated in the survey. They were involved in it. They were putting it together. And so you can see the number of respondents here. They're very likely to share that out afterwards because they've been involved in it and the information uh, is really sourced from them. So it's a very smart way to really get people to, to, to want to share out their content and say, you know, hey, I've been, I was part of this survey, check it out, and it makes people look good. Now the final way to generate a lot of links and social shares on autopilot is to create infographics. And uh, here's an example of an infographic here. The way that these actually get links back to your website is, people embed these infographics into their website using a piece of code like this. So you just copy and paste that and put that in. And then you will have a infographic like this on your page. Now this is a huge infographic. You can see it's got 486 links, but you can do something much simpler. You probably want to keep it to maybe, you know, seven points, something like that. And there are tools that you can use to generate these. PictoChart is one. You can use this for free to create infographics, very simple. You can use Canva, which we've looked at before. You can use Infogram. There's another one here called uh, visual.ly. And you can actually come to view here and you can search for some infographics. So let's, let's stay with that same example, drones. Let's see if we can see anything here. And you can see, okay, 133 views, not much, but there are some examples of infographics here 
that are you know a bit simpler and you can really search for a lot of infographics or you can just search online something like drone infographics and uh, you know you're going to get examples here and you can see all of the links once again using the same Ozbart tool so that is five ideas for you five ways that you can generate links and shares uh, on autopilot now as i said you might not be doing this right now but you got to get your brain kind of thinking how can i involve other people in the content that i'm making and give them a reason to share it out um, or create a great resource like a checklist a template a download something that has a lot of value for people so that wraps up point number 26 i've got one final bonus tip i think you'll like this this is really how you can get to the top of the search engines quickly even if you've no 